Now this is another way to do window pane squares. This is Scout's um, block print on one of the muslin curtain panels. Um, I'm keeping his and Coco separate. Now you'll notice, here it is on paper, um, I did a different kind of block print with this. With Coco's, I removed all of the background and left black lines for the outline. With his, I did it the opposite and carved the lines. I used uh, rubber and a speedball uh, linoleum uh, knife cutter and um, just carved out the different outlines. Now, the reason I did his differently is because, um, I don't know if it's right here, I'm going to do one on uh, a wood panel in oil pastel, and that's going to end up being his picture. So I just needed the outlines because I'm going to put all the color in. Um, it was quicker to do his picture this way, but what you can do with that, so I really carved it to do an oil pastel of him, and I just needed the outlines. Then I did a print on paper, and this, like I said, is one of the squares. Now, this is coming in the middle of me working on the rhododendron, where I have this all ready to, to transfer to muslin to do the curtains. And yet, when I, this is, um, Yarka uh, Sanguine, I think. Um, it's a box of Sanguine and Sepia, and I think the lighter color is called Sanguine. Um, I kind of call it um, oh, Sienna, burnt Sienna. Anyway, you can see how beautiful the Yarkas work on paper. I mean, this makes it look like velvet especially with the uh, friction of the texture, this gives him form, leaving that black on there and working the color in over it, gives it's going to give the picture depth. So here I am all planned out to do my rhododendron curtains in crayon, um, so they stay soft looking and everything. And all of a sudden, um, I did that. And now what I'm thinking of doing is I am going to make the one rhododendron and I'm thinking of using these as pages um, that I will end up putting together as curtains, I believe. But So I'll do his picture on paper, in oil pastel on wood, um, but on the paper and on the muslin I'm going to use the Yarka soft pastels. Now... Um, with a curtain, obviously when you wash your curtain, some of that, or maybe all of it, it's going to shift or come off, or, and then they become like coloring pages, where you can just go back and color them again. So I did, um, I outlined his, the graphic lines I needed with the Model 20 when I had it out yesterday. I put the squares in, so this is all put together. And now what I'm going to do is put the color in on the dog with the Yarkas. And then um, at some point, Yarkas are very permanent pigments. Then I'm going to wash it. And this is all washable ink. So the whole thing is going to fade and shift and change and have motion. But then uh, if I hand wash it, when it's dry again, I can redo it. And um, you would be calling it freshening it up. Um, but let's say for some silly reason, he develops all of a sudden a white spot of hair. So the next time I do it, I can add more white. He's a foxhound, and he should have white all the way down to his nose, but he's got um, partial white on one side of his nose over here when it should go all the way down but he's got more white now than he had as a puppy. And that's just kind of an example. So then if I take the 20 panels for the front windows and leave the center blank, I do the rhododendron separately as like a drawing. Um, I leave the center blank. 
I happen to love dandelions. So I draw with the Yarkas freehand without transferring or anything like that, dandelions. And then I throw them all in the wash. Maybe an underlying dandelion remains and I make it a crocus. And you end up layering color, but at the same time, um, if you keep the shapes similar, so one of my main images is, well, two of them, one is pears and one is just pine trees. So if you have a block like this, I can put in like three pine trees and then throw it in the wash and when it comes out again, I do three more pine trees. It's a way to uh, take chalk. Uh, Crayola makes a drawing chalk that's for paper which I think I could use on fabric and it would wash out. I haven't tried it yet. Um, but the Yarkas, when I saw this and the effect on paper of the Yarkas, you know, it brought back all my, oh, where are all my pastels? Um, pastel chalk itself has such a beautiful effect. And it's as soft as crayons. But this, I'm making the video mainly because when you start a project, such as I have, with a handy stitch and uh, rhododendron and maybe 20 other um, painting designs. And then I went to the rhododendron only. And now I'm probably changing it again to blank pages I can draw on and then hang on the windows the same way um, and wash them and do them again. It's so right now it's springtime. There's going to be a lot of flowers opening up. I can, if it doesn't all wash out, I can smudge it all in and make it a background and do another one. So it's versatile. I'm sure if I took a scrub brush to the muslin, I'd get most of it to be a background color. Which in this case is fine because if this doesn't wash out, um, I'm covering the background. It's more impromptu than doing transfers, whether they're from coloring book or purchased images. Um, and if I put these together with a handy stitch, I can take the curtains down, I pull out the chain stitch, and I've got six new pages, and then I chain stitch them back together again. Um, it's a wonderful way to hang six pieces of art at the same time. So once I get his started on here, um, I have to take the little uh, Model 20s, you have the little end threads. I have to just, I'm going to put them inside uh, the square there with a the needle. Uh, but once I have this flat and I'm drawing with the Yarkas on fabric, I'll know better how well they'll wash out. Um, you don't have to wash them out. You can make them once and leave them. Um, but now these are going to be summer flowers or the rhododendron. I started to say when you're doing a project like this and it involves art, don't be surprised at all if you change your mind several times before you get to the finished item. When you have the basic structure of, in this case, an 8-inch quilted square, you can then use this as a page and put anything you want on it. And that, of course, leads to freehand artwork. 